All right, let's consider this ball. This ball being dropped from three different height, 50 centimeter, 100 centimeter, and 150 centimeter. We wanna measure the mass of this ball. We're gonna measure it two different ways. First, we're gonna measure it carelessly, and then we're gonna measure it carefully and try to see the difference between these two. Let's do it carelessly. Let's give it to grandma and ask the grandma what would be the mass of this ball. The mass of the ball is 82 grams. On the other hand, we use NASA uh, laser scale. Now we're gonna measure the volume. Again, this time by grandma. And grandma gives us the volume 42 cubic meters. And we're gonna use the NASA instrument to find the volume and this is what we got. Density of the mass of a volume. So mass is 82 gram, of course. And the volume is 42 cubic meters, centimeters. Okay, now let's find the density over here. And there is a big problem with this one. Why is that? How many sig fig over here? Two. How many sig fig over here? Two. So significant figures are important because you do not want to get more precise conclusion than what you started with. You don't want to get more precise answer than what you started with. You started with two sig fig and you get more, much more precise answer. And that's not good. You started with sloppy measurement. You should not get very precise conclusion. If you started with two sig fig, you, if, if you started with sloppy measurement, then you should end up with a sloppy conclusion. Okay. So this has a problem. This is without sig fig. Using without sig fig. And this one would be better. Because this one is going to use sig fig. We're going to round. We're going to round it to two sig fig because we started with two sig fig. So 2.0. Cubic centimeter. So, why this is better? Because this uses sig fig. Why this is not good? Because this does not use sig fig. This is why we always gonna use sig fig in scientific measurement. Now let's see. We started with very precise information. We started with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine sig fig here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sig fig here. That means nine sig fig here, nine sig fig here. Then our conclusion should be very precise as well. And our conclusion will include nine sig fig. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is why sig fig is very important. Now, I'm going to give you an analogy to understand. I know the location of my two sons. Isaac and Randy. So I called them. And Isaac said, I am very close to tall building. He's around tall building. Rap said he's around crowd, so loss of crowd, big building, big crowd. Big building, big crowd. This information will not allow me to conclude that they are close to 40 
second district and eighth avenue. This information will not allow me to conclude that they are close to 42nd Street and 8th Avenue. Let me use analogy for this one. And rough side here is near Astor building. Now, this will allow me to conclude that they are very close to Times Square. Alright, so this is an analogy to understand this calculation. This is an analogy to understand this calculation. Hopefully you understand one thing now that is you don't want to get much more precise answer than what you started with. This is not precise information. You should not have precise conclusion. This is precise information. So yeah, you should get a precise conclusion. Now, let me give you some example. An example, five, six, eight. How many sig fig there? Three sig fig. Three six fig. One, two, three six fig. Non zero number always six fig. Number two. Zero to the right. Not, not six fig. So trailing zero. Well, depending on depending on whether you have a decimal or not. For example, five hundred. Only one sig fig. Five hundred with the decimal. Three sig fig. Four sig fig. Okay, so decimal makes a huge difference. Number three, zero in the middle. Six feet. For example, five, zero, three, zero, one. One, two, three, four, five, six feet. Leading zero, never six feet. Six feet. So leading zero is not six feet, but trailing zero or six feet. Let's check your understanding now. Three six feet. Still three six feet. Three six feet. One two three four six feet. One two three four five six feet. Hopefully you understand with scientific notation. So 9.2 times 10 is to 3 is equal to 9.2 times 10 is to 3. Make sure we're gonna have same exponent. So we're gonna bring it to 3 and we're gonna bring it down to 3. So 8.3 times 10 is to 4 is equal to 83 times 10 is to 3. 0 0.008 times 10 is to 6 is equal to 8 times 10 is to 3. Now we're going to add them up since we have the same exponent. So 9.2 plus 83 plus 8 times 10 raised to 3. So 100.2 times 10 raised to 3. Now we have to find the least number of sig fig. Here we have two sig fig. Here we have two sig fig. Here we have one sig fig. So our final answer should have only one sig fig. Alright, so make sure we do that. One, 
times tan raised to 5. So this has been a secret. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. Thank you.